see you for the squat lift after the break. Last year, I got a stupid injury, dislocated my toe pulling the truck. It wasn't pleasant, I felt it go straight away, right at the start. And obviously, when you're in a competition like this, you try and block out pain and just keep going. Th th these things we do are stupid, you know? It's, it's <laughs> We're all a bit stupid, the guys that do this, but it's, it's not something you're going to just be able to just jump out of your sofa and have a go at. You need to practice them, warm up definitely. You've got to progress through the weights. And, and this year, a little bit more preparation beforehand, and I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> Well, Lauren Charley is the favoured athlete in this event, no doubt about that. Yeah, it was going pretty well. I was back up to putting 200 kilos overhead, um, which is pretty, you know, it's decent at this level. And then all of a sudden, the next morning, couldn't lift my arm over my shoulder. I've had a cortisone injection to try and help me get through this contest. But long run, I need to get the shoulder sorted, really, if, if I want to get back to kind of, you know, aiming to get on the podium or winning World's Strongest Man. But I couldn't miss this year's show. I want to give it my all. I'm here to fight for every point. Everyone here is a big, strong man. They lift big, massive weights. But strong man's not just about that. You need speed, you need flexibility, you need good technique, you need power. And it's looking at everything to try and make yourself better as an athlete and treat it as a sport. Nine repetitions. This is immense from Charlotte. Double figures, perhaps. Well, it's immense, but it wasn't necessary. And look at this, he's down on his back. I hope Lauren Charlet is OK. He needs medical attention very quickly. Yeah. About himself. As a little kid, I used to be fascinated by, by this sport. I used to love watching it on TV. I was kind of inspired by big, strong guys, and I just kind of fell in love with the sport. It's a sport that involves risk. I've suffered a number of injuries over the last few years. I'm strong and healthy this year and ready to battle. That fire inside, it's kind of like, almost like an evilness. I am mellow and I try and stay quite relaxed 90% of the time. But when it's time to compete and kind of release that inner beast, when you kind of really dig deep and you get your adrenaline flowing and you feel pumped up and ready to lift, suddenly things become a lot easier. That's how you kind of cope with, with the massive, crazy stuff that we do. Heavier and heavier. Oh, oh. goodness. A shout there. I hope he's all right. Lawrence Shackley here, 33 years old from the UK. Really happy to be here. So this is my um, eighth year at World's Strongest Man. It's more than a hobby, to be honest. It's a lifestyle. It, you know, it does take over your life. You can't just kind of flut in and out of it when you feel like it. Resilience is massively important in strongman. Um, you know, it's, it's helped me come back time and time again from injury. You know, it's so easy to kind of lay down and just kind of give up. But if you give up, it's over. You're never going to get that chance to prove what you can do. And this year, I've come back. I've kind of had the best year of my, my career so far, winning Europe's Strongest Man. And now there's only one kind of step up from that, and that's to try and win World's Strongest Man. I think that fact that I've kept coming back from, from so many knockdowns has, has probably been my legacy more than anything. You know, I've won some fantastic competitions over the years. You know, when I get people message me telling me that I've inspired them and, you know, it's helped them in, in their walk of life, that means more to me than any titles do. So, so for me, definitely, that's kind of you know, what I want my legacy to be. Um, the competition-wise, that's for me, but if I'm inspiring other people, then, you know, that's really humbling and a, a, just such a, a nice feeling to see.